is OpenAI sacrificing safety for quick advancement? With the number of recent announcements, as well as the increasing number of top names leaving the company, we are building up a huge pile of rumors that both of these come at the cost of AI safety, and that Sam Altman may be entirely behind that. But is there any truth to this? Safety in AI was already a concern, a concern that could potentially even lead to a ban if not taken care of. So is it getting worse now? Let's check this out. On March 24th, 2023, there was a ChatGPT outage. Reason? A bug in an open source library that allowed some users to see titles from another active user's chat history. The company's first major outage was on November 8th, 2023. The team said, we are dealing with periodic outages due to an abnormal traffic pattern reflective of a DDoS attack. The incident was resolved the very next day without explaining the details. In the current year, on 28th of 2024, there was again a partial outage in all systems of OpenAI in API, ChatGPT, Lab, and Playground. This year, OpenAI experienced recurring outages in ChatGPT, both partial and major. The latest is on May 21st, 2024, when it's been not long since OpenAI introduced its ChatGPT 4.0. Does OpenAI's crashing system have anything to do with safety concerns? Yes, it does. But why should you care? Well, tell us in the comments below what you think, while you are there to subscribe to the channel as well. Before going into the concerns, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in OpenAI that raised the questions of security. Since the inception of the company, which was in 2015, its founders are leaving the company one by one. First, Elon Musk, reason was something entirely differently, not getting into that right now. Then there is Sam Altman, who was fired in November 2023, though rehired a week later. Then there's Altman versus Ilya. After this fuss, the relationship between Altman and Ilya was not the same as before. Now Ilya Sutskever, co-founder and chief scientist, who was alleged to have a hand in Altman's firing back in 2023, resigned. Although he had not said anything regarding his resignation in his Twitter post on May 15, 2024, except that I am very excited for what comes next. A project that is very personally meaningful to me, about which I will share details in due time. It is speculated that Sutskever clashed with Altman over how to develop AI, a technology prominent scientists have warned could harm humanity if allowed to grow without built-in constraints, for instance, misinformation. Jan Leikes resignation. Soon after that, co-leader of the company's super alignment group, Jan Leike, announced his resignation from the company. He said in his Twitter post, building smarter than human machines is an inherently dangerous endeavor. OpenAI is shouldering an enormous responsibility on behalf of all humanity. Leike urged all OpenAI employees to act with the gravitas that their work demands. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman responded to Leike's post with his own message, expressing gratitude for Leike's contribution to the company and sadness over his departure. He's right. We have a lot more to do, Sam Altman said. We are committed to doing it. Another lead engineer at OpenAI, Evan Morikawa, left the company this very month. He said in his Twitter post, I'm leaving OpenAI after three and a half years. Other company members, Danielle Kokotajlo, member of the safety team, Logan Kilpatrick, public voice for OpenAI, William Saunders, manager in Super Alignment Group, Leopold Aschenbrenner, member of Super Alignment Group, fired for leaking the information, Havel Ismailov was ally of Ilya Sutskever, and many more either left the company consecutively or reassigned to other parts of the company. This dismantling of the team concerned everyone about OpenAI's intentions regarding AGI. Let's see how the company's leadership is addressing these concerns. In response to the concerns, OpenAI's Greg Brockman and Sam Altman have jointly stated that they have increased their awareness of AI risks and will continue to improve security work in the future 
to deal with the stakes of each new model. This reply shows that OpenAI knows AI safety matters and will deal with it. But Likey leaving and the super alignment team breaking up make people wonder if the company will really focus on safety and security while developing AI. In a summit, OpenAI's head of preparedness, Alexander Madry, talked about OpenAI preparedness for future safety challenges. He did not give a definite answer about assurances that you cannot predict the real risk until it comes into the market by giving the analogy of the use of the car and the accidents that happen because of that. He also said that he's worried that there will be negative effects, but we are working to mitigate the risk. When she was asked about OpenAI's approach to safety in an interview, OpenAI CTO Mira Murati said that it's hard to predict the future. We are trying to deploy these systems in a controlled way, that is API. GPT-3 was developed in API to a small group of users. Then we broadened our success until we knew the risks. We cannot detect the risk in a research lab. Well, that's quite a statement. So basically they're saying, once everything is screwed, then we know that we screwed up. But until then, let's just keep going. Quite, quite dangerous, I would say. Microsoft, by the way, also came forward for OpenAI. It is the largest investor in OpenAI since 2016. After the ousting of Sam Altman in 2023, Microsoft offered him a position. Brad Smith, Microsoft president, cleared the ousting of Sam Altman was not because of AI safety worries. To get a deeper look into the problem, let's see what what security concerns there are. Stanford researchers argue that there's often no proof that theoretical risks have happened. They say problems like disinformation, scams, and bioterrorism existed before generative AI. The researchers believe AI can make these risks worse or speed them up, but it doesn't create new ones. When it comes to AI security concerns, it's seen at three levels. The national level. The Time report says developing advanced AI today represents urgent and increasing risks to national security. The rise of advanced AI and AGI, artificial general intelligence, could destabilize global security, similar to how nuclear weapons did. Then there is the big tech level, which comes with automated cyber attacks, threat of bioweapons, algorithmic biases caused by bad data, and then there is the consumer level. The real live AI risks are consumer privacy, bias programming, danger to humans, and unclear legal regulation. The consumer's own reliance on AI carries a risk too. When decisions are made without human oversight, machine learning algorithms operate by identifying patterns in data. But problems arise when the data reflects societal biases. OpenAI made miraculous progress in AGI technology within the short period of its incorporation, introducing its shiny products at a very rapid speed but at the cost of security and efficiency. The company's members showed concerns as we have discussed before. Continuous outages and unexplained responses. Do you believe all the commotion surrounding security holds genuine significance or is it merely a noise? Tell us in the comments section below. And by the way, also subscribe while you're at it. So in my opinion, if OpenAI doesn't fix the security problems I mentioned earlier and keeps releasing products without thinking about morals, ethics and society, it could end really bad. Badly. Ignoring these issues might make people lose faith in AI, and AI could be used in bad ways, causing harm to people and society. OpenAI needs to take action to solve these problems and think more about the effects their tech might have on everyone. Well, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more AI videos. Until then, check out our channel for more interesting videos. I'm Dennis Panyuta, and see you in the next video.